Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you an updated version of how you can create a social media pop tag with the new text type and essential graphics panel. So if you're new to the channel, leave a like below and consider subscribing if you're not yet for daily creative videos. Getting started, I've got a couple clips on the timeline. This is my buddy Ben, Ben Realverse World. This is from a vlog I recently did when I went to California. You guys should really check that out. And in it, I pop tagged him. So in order to do that from scratch, we're going to grab our text tool and just click and start to create our graphic layer here. So first, I'll just type his username, Ben Realverse World on IG. And let's go into the essential graphics panel so we can start adjusting things, make sure it's not cut off on the edge there. If you don't see this, go to Window, Essential Graphics. This is new in the update. And if you're still using an older version of Premiere, I did this tutorial on the older title tool, so I'll link that as well. But I'm just going to center it for now. And of course, this font is not going to work for Instagram, but it's a cool font. And instead, I'll use one called Roboto. You can use things like Helvetica, whatever you have at your disposal. And I'll set it to the regular version of the font. I'll decrease the size a lot, and I don't want it to be in that outline appearance. So instead of using the stroke, I'm going to make sure fill is checked, and I'll keep it at white. So let's decrease the size a lot, and I'll move it back over kind of on him where I want the pop tag to start. Now we need to create that gray Instagram style tag. And in order to do that in the new version of Premiere's graphics, all you need to do is head over to graphics, new layer, and choose rectangle. So from here, it'll create a rectangle and I can actually use the move or selection tool to adjust the edges to be exactly the size I need to fit the text or length of the username. Now this is a red box and it's in front of everything and I don't want that. So I'm going to click the shape, drag it underneath the text layer. So just like any other layer system, what's on top is going to show through first from what's on bottom. And then I'm also going to create that little diamond on the front. So in order to do that, I'm going to go create another new rectangle layer and I'm going to make this flip over into a diamond shape. And then just move this layer so that it's positioned right in the middle of that text so that it has that little peak popping out right in the middle of that rectangle and I'm really just eyeballing everything and creating it from scratch so now we'll move that shape layer as well behind everything we've got a little bit of that tag going on except I don't want it to be red I want it to be a dark charcoal gray so I'll make it a dark charcoal gray here's a color code that's the one I'm going to use and I just copied and pasted it so I can get the same exact color code for both of my rectangles and now we have our little pop tag going on now if you want you can also lower the opacity of these rectangles a little bit but that is going to give you a slight visibility of the separation of that diamond and if you really wanted to go that extra step you could build out these shapes on their own graphic layer and then lower the opacity I'm not really going to go that picky with it I'm just going to keep it as is but now we've got our basic pop tag and we want to animate it onto the right point in the video. So right here where I say I'm going to pop tag him, just making a joke, I'm going to put this tag on him and I'll also grab a pop sound effect. So I'll link you to the one that I'm using. It's free from the YouTube audio library. So I'm going to click and drag that little sound effect down there to position it. And now I'm also going to figure out exactly how long I want it to be so I can stretch it out to just this duration of the clip. And then we just lastly have to animate it in. So let's highlight the text layer, go to the effects control panel. At the very start of the clip, I'm going to click the stopwatch or toggle animation icon and set the scale to be zero actually. Then just about a few frames over, let's set the scale to be 100. That lets it pop in like that. That's a little too slow for my taste, so I'm actually gonna squeeze it in a bit more. And I realize I actually don't want it to go to 100 scale. I only want it to go to right about as big as it is relative to the person or shot that you're using. And now that I have the scale animated in, we just have to do a little bit of tracking in the position. You don't have to go into After Effects and get all crazy with it. Literally, I'm just going to set the stopwatch icon on here and then just move the X and Y every few seconds, every few frames so that it kind of follows him a bit and just gives off some sense of motion. 
until he exits the room there. I will create another animation where the pop tag goes out of scale just like it came in. So I'll just click the diamond to keep it there and we'll disappear it all the way down to 100. So now when I play that back, you see it pops in, pop tags on him as long as I want to track him and then disappeared. Now I didn't like the way that that signed off, so I'm going to do it a lot quicker. And you can see with a couple of seconds of adjusting and tweaking, you can really just make it from scratch the first time. And after you make it from scratch the first time, you can just copy and paste over that little template by holding alt and dragging or right clicking. And then I can just go into the essential graphics panel, keep everything the same except just change the text each time to be whatever username I want. And then just adjust the size of that rectangle at the bottom here. So boom, adjust that side, just squeeze it in, move it back over to center. And then I could place this one on me in the beginning of the clip and just start over with that same positioning and scale tactic to animate it in for the slight amount of movement in me in this shot. So that's an updated version of how to create that animated Instagram style pop tag using the new text and essential graphics panel in Adobe Premiere Pro. It looks a little bit longer when I explain it, but it's really simple when you're just working and you do it and you can just animate the keyframes real quick. Boom, boom, boom. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like below. Consider subscribing to the channel if you're not yet for daily creative videos. And go follow me on Instagram at Justin OD Show to keep in touch with me. Go watch this Cali vlog as well. That's where this clip came from. I'll see you in the next one.